Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Uh, did a little bit of grinding between this episode and the last one, like I said, part of the way through the last episode. Just because I had some, uh, some time. So, just so you guys can see, we've got about 21,000 souls. Just did a couple of rounds in, in Hate Tower. Um... I think it was like four or five rounds in there, so it's probably not that much the, uh, that the enemies left in that zone. Um, I mean, we're not going to be going back there anyway, so it's not like it's changed much other than we get to put an extra couple of points in here, which is always much appreciated. Should have enough for about three levels, I think. One, two, three. Yeah. Nice and balanced little, little upgrade there. Makes me feel good about myself. Uh, I guess we'll spend the rest on Morlin. See if we can't upgrade his, uh, his inventory before we continue going forward. Uh, we are going to want some souls for some spells very soon as well, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Oh, I was hope I've stocked some new things. Hey! What you got, what you got, what you got? Uh, doesn't have Alva's set yet, so we still need to spend some more cash. Uh, so I'll continue grabbing the rest of the Falcon set just because it looks nice. But it really doesn't have anything for me. Do you? Nope. I guess that's it. Thanks very much. Just a good place to spend some souls. Like, just just in case you do die and don't get back to them again, there's no point in in not at least using them on something somewhere. I'm still waiting to find some more time. Like, I can't remember. I don't really know where a good place to uh, to farm it is right now. Might have a look. Titanite shards. Titanite. <laughs> Titanite shards. Titanite shards. DS2. <laughs> Everyone does call it DS2. Right, let's go. I'll, uh, I'll research this later. We are on with the wharf. Uh, it's going to be quite tough without any melee. Uh, a lot of the enemies here are difficult for us to... To, uh, to lock onto. First up, we've got this guy here on the ground, and we're going to be getting shot at right now as well, which is why this is going to be a pain in the ass. We've also got a dog on the left just there. Uh, the good thing being, we seem to have cracked the damage precipice for, for one-shotting some enemies. As you can see, we've got, we've got a lot to try and deal with here. In fact, actually, the best thing to do here is going to be to run in the building. Now that I remember. And then we've got this guy. It's gonna stand up. Nope, still not really one shot on them. Such a shame, actually. Come on. <clears throat> well, he's not one shot in some of them. And that's with the Great Hollow as well. Damn, that's pretty. pretty, uh. pretty poor, actually. So we're gonna have the door here, which is where that last archer was. Gotta be careful, because I think he can get his sword out. And we're at a significant disadvantage in close combat right now. I've got this. Ah, there's a Titan Shot. We need to get ourselves up to three, so... To get an upgrade to the... To the Catalyst. Be careful where you choose to drop down here, you don't end up in the water. Most of the water here is lethal. Some of it is something we can stand in. Got some pretty good damage on you there, though. That's alright. Get your mate down. Ouch. Ouch. So at this point then, I find it a good idea to... I don't know the closest place where we can light it is. I always do it back at the bonfire. But, um... I find it a good idea to actually light the torches here, just because... Uh, if you do die or you need to come back through, it'll be nice to be able to actually see and target stuff properly. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Give it not to rest on, reset it. At least not yet, anyway. This really isn't a good place for souls, so there's uh, no reason to, to try grinding this area, in my opinion. There's our uh, merchant over there. He's going to sell us some new spells. Probably what our souls, the, the, the few souls that we do get from here, is going to go on. And basically, what that'll do is it'll, it will mean that because these areas are now considered illuminated. Um, We'll be able to lock on to enemies easier. I mean, I guess it's not really a uh, essential. You can actually block with that. That's quite funny. Is that right? Now, of course, you can see this guy's hands over here. He is there to uh, 
to trick you, of course. Oh, we've hit to aggro the uh, the enemies. Also got an NPC we can summon on the ground that you can see. We're gonna go ahead and grab that in a second, but I, f I feel like it's it's better to save it a little bit until we uh, go up against some of the the larger encounters. So we're gonna leave that there for now. Just gonna deal with this guy. I don't want no one sneaking up behind me. Good thing is once you've lit these, you can actually relight your uh, torch on them, so you don't have to always go back to the bonfire. Not come off. If you hit the moss on the side, they don't actually get back up, they'll just die. So, um, it just makes life easier. Not to worry about this one, we're good. As you can see there, that's going to be a shortcut. We'll be knocking that down close to the end of the area. Um, it's probably going to be more more of a longer episode than I would usually have on the channel. I would usually aim for like 20 minutes, but um, these areas are 20 to 40 minutes, so probably will be a little longer. Now then, it's not. Not dally about the place here. Let's get you down. Get you down. Like right, your mates coming. Come on then. Actually got most of these down now, which is nice. Not really much in there. Quite a few nooks and crannies here, though, so a lot of it's worth getting. Didn't quite get you. It's like a drowned guy. It's a bit different to this, isn't he? Don't really know what his deal is. Other than he's carrying a torch, some arrows. Right then. I'm gonna grab you now. I was a bit better at aiming for headshots. I could save myself some arrows, but we're all good for now. Let's be careful here. I feel like something comes out of that hole. Dogs. These are going to be horrific up close if we're not careful. Let's get you dealt with. Oops. Funny how little damage we're doing with such high stats. <laughs> ah, I've got you. Come on then. So obviously the aim here is that you're supposed to be getting kind of ambushed by it from almost pretty much every direction, and you'll get ambushed if you actually go up to the top of those stairs. So we're not going to do that just yet. We're actually going to go this way. Here's a friend worth talking to, Luke Teal. What is it? I don't know. Things are better than. I actually quite like Luke too. And I like her arms. <laughs> no. I'm cool from the land. They say Drangle, and so I came. But what a strain. You are an odd one. In. Well, you. I can see that you are mid journey. If you, I come from. Don't right. hesitate. Oh, that means we can now summon her. Um, there's a bit of a storyline with her, and I think there's four bosses in total you can summon her in, and you need to get at least three to progress her storyline. So, uh, this boss, for those Puritans that don't like summoning people, you are going to want to. Ah. <laughs> Boom, get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where we'll be getting ambushed. We've got dog over that way. Again, I can't lock on to most of these enemies at the range that we're at, so it's... This is why you might want to put some, uh, put some torches up in here. Nothing in this, in this area. Always a little bit jarring. I feel like there's a secret around here, though. Is it this? Missed, I've missed something. Yeah, you. And I don't know. Why do I feel like there's more? I feel like there's more. Mm, no. It's just that for now. Uh, so. That's that. Did that. Continue on ahead. I'm going to deal with this guy. Oop. After dealt with Doug. Ouch. Dog is behaving well there. Ouch. I'm gonna die. Maybe not yet. Alright. Oil. Careful of this stuff. Uh, that guy in particular is gonna throw firebombs at us. And there are gonna be a few others as we go forward. Um, 
And obviously if you've got oil on you, that's not going to be pleasant for you. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. you, hello. Where'd you come from? That was a, that was a long jump. Wasn't it? So far, I've not actually needed the summon. Maybe we should have brought them along. We've got a... Yeah, we got actually got a few nasty enemies up here. So maybe we're going for this bit. So let's go ahead and... Deal with this one. Now, the cool thing is, these will actually back off if you have a torch with you. Um, and so... Lighting a torch up and around here is actually going to be a pretty good advantage for you. If you do happen to come back through. So if you light, like, that one... Uh, well, the best things will be is that if you come down here, it won't follow you. Lots of, oh, let's get rid of you. Come on, then. I knew he was going to do that. Just as I was about to start lining up. Yeah, there we go. Another one. Such weird, like, fairy hits that aren't having much impact. It's just weird. Can I get your head? Can I? Yes, just. Okay. Still got quite a way to go as well. We're already quite far down the spells. That all resource management shtick can be an issue. But we're going to bring a friend along now. Uh, this one actually does some pretty good work, so should be pretty fun to bring along. I'm going to bring this as well. Oh god, Bradley. This place just looks nice when you've got it all uh, all lit up anyway. So this uh thing up here, which I said was afraid of fire, that also happens to be weak to fire. I'd like to think uh, you'd, you'd, you'd be able to know that. Right. They do get over the fear after a little while, so uh, you want to take them out whilst they're cowering. Quite cool, right? Especially with the, uh, the summon of this. I don't know why he's healing me. Oh, he's trying to heal me. I should be standing in that. Go on then. Thank you very much. Alrighty then. Let's not be so silly as to go onto a ledge when there's a dude there. I'm gonna grab this. Emit Force. He's in Alva's arm set. I love Alva's arm set. I really like Alva's arm set. Right, so, uh, I think what you want to do here is you want to hit that and then move backwards. I know if you try and open it, it's a trap. I'm like, out oh, spells. Real bad. Come on, Riley. I need you. Let's, uh... That's why I bring friends along. So yeah, these are weak to fight. Ooh! Stuff's about to break. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got some repair powder I think we've picked up along the way. There we go. Should help to see us through. Sometimes you've just got to play to the situation. Oh, 
I'll probably deal with it. Save my spell. There we are. Isn't he on his way out, look, because he's killed him, killed so many enemies? And now I feel like it was a great idea saving him for here. <laughs> great sword. Not really that much use. This isn't Nick, is it? No. It is a trap. It's time to go out of the way. Uh, they stop summons for, uh, invaders from healing, so useful those are if you if you like invading people. Got 45 minutes of my torch, like it's forever, isn't it? Anything? No, nope, I guess that all came out for us already. That'll mean... And here... Hello. I see you. The worst thing is when they do that. When they like swap places. So you haven't actually like killed one, but you have like kind of fired two shots off. Uh, it's probably a good job that we've actually kept the torch on here because we're going to want it in a minute. to watch it come across. Just summoning in the uh, the ghost ship. It's just kind of cool. So, I can't remember exactly where it is. There's an assassin thing somewhere. Where is it? And it kind of jumps up on you, and it's not very nice. Where are you? Let's get rid of this guy. Nice summon sign down there. Where is it? I'm not going to go in there just yet. There's some others, uh... Black in. in fact, I probably should go in there and think about it. There it is. Nasty. Whoa, and I followed it off. No. Okay, I'll catch you guys back there in a second. <laughs>